Hello, Captains. This is Kent again, and welcome to the Flight Show. So someone gave uh, asked a question. So what is Flight Simulator 2020 like on a 49-inch monitor? Well, hey, what better thing to do than do some mission landing challenges and get a, give you an opportunity to see it in action? So let's just get on with it. I'm doing the landing that's the landing challenge, which is at uh, Jackson Hole Airport in Wyoming. <clears throat> in the winter time so that's going to be you know pretty cool in terms of views uh the highs are pretty high earlier i actually stuck it and cracked a million um however oh my gosh no 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 my dog was chewing my cable uh <laughs> all right i <laughs> That is so funny. I was like, what's tugging on my mic? And then I realized he was at, I just got a puppy. He's teething. He was about to start chewing on it. So sorry for that interruption. Besides, gave me a minute while this is loading. Oh my gosh. He's already chewed on one of my microphone cables. So if he went through that, I was going to go ape. But I think you got the point. He's in his little bed in my office now. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. out here in Jackson Hole. Okay, so it's a little choppy when you get into the game, but after a couple of seconds, it, it smoothens out. Now me, I need to raise this just a wee bit. All right, there we go. And our landing gear is already down. I'm gonna drop flaps. Ah, see, there we go, now it's smooth. Now our speed is dropping considerably, considerably, and if you noticed in the uh, notes coming into the game, it says that you should be around 110 knots when you're on final. So I will say that uh, the reason I hadn't been posting is I really, aside from being busy with work, I, what little time I had, I needed to really work on getting these views in a way that I found functional. All I can say is this. I hate MSFS 2020's camera view system. It is cantankerous. They just overdid the <sighs> chase plane help. Now I know some of you left a thing on the page. Hey, but they have some tutorials. Yes, and some of them don't work. I mean, they, I can program some views, but the captain seat for whatever reason will not save. And their saving buttons are just Chase Plane, please, please, release something. I'm I'm not even, you know, like, go to the message board, leave a mess. No, this sucks. They'd have to re go to, they just need to go back to formula, and I know they're not even going to do it. I do not like their camera system. I do not like Green Eggs and Ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Uh, but anyway, um, outside of that there are a lot of positive aspects to this and i'm working the cameras as best i can like you see with the tracker software i can do a lot better all right so we're going to now stick this landing um i think okay i think we got, i think we got this all right we're going to drop our speed we're going a little fast but that's okay raise my head a little bit a little to the right but i think i can handle that right bring it up and bring it down oh but he bounced ah oh, that bounce is gonna hurt me otherwise I think I hit it in the box I was actually glad about that and keeping it pretty good on the center line but we'll just have to live with it all right slowing it down 47 scores should pop up in a second here now I'll give it, again, the graphics are phenomenal. I cannot even begin to tell you how bad a score that is by comparison. Like, the previous time I did this, I like had 600,000. Then it went to five, now it's four. That's humiliating. Okay, we're gonna stop this. We're gonna hit next. I don't even wanna look at where, by comparison, we're gonna try that one more time. Jim and E crickets. <laughs> All right. Now I know they have a key where you can hit Shift Nine and it like gives you this landing or your ILS view. I think they call it. 
Um, I'd rather just have my views custom, like in Chase Plane, where I have a view for that. And all I have to do is hit one button, not this alternate stuff. Ugh, I hate these views. But that's not the purpose of this video. Um, let's just pretend that I got the views doing what they need to do, and we'll leave it at that. All right, so flaps down. All right, where should we get? We should be at 110 by the time we're on the final, so I'm going to leave the throttles right about here until we line up. Absolutely beautiful outside. And if you do have tracker software, I mean, it's as close as you're going to get to <clears throat> VR, and it is nice. All right, bring our throttles back. Flaps down, full flaps. Yeah, I kind of feel the lift there. That's okay, we're slowing down. Putting a little back pressure on the flight yoke. Spool those engines up a bit. Okay, we're flaring right now, so this is where we kind of want to be. We're a little bit to the right, so I'm going to correct for that. But I want to leave it right here in terms of the speed. We're at 114, it recommended 110, so, you know, they say, depending on what it is, plus, you know, what the recommended speed is, it's plus five, or did they give it to you incorporating plus five? I really don't know, but I'm going to roll with this. Okay. This, this is, this is working, this is working. And we're just going to fly it into that spot. All right. I'm optimistic about this. I'm optimistic. We're a little to the right, but we're, we're correcting. All right. Just a gentle, gentle touchdown. A little over from the center line, but that was still a gentle touchdown, and we have a center line rollout, so I can live with that. Okay. Okay, I can dig that. All right. Though it's not a million, that is a respectable score. Or at least more respect. I wanted to crack a million, but I will take that over the dismal performance that I had in the previous run. So, okay, we can dig that. And let's see if we can bring this into our marshallers. Are they even there? Okay, that's kind of random. Like, last time they were there, they're not there this time, or at least... They're somewhere else. Oh, there they are. Okay, we're good. All right, we'll bring them in. Now, he's facing, or at the other time, it was she is facing um, perpendicular to what I would imagine is what you're parking the plane. So we'll just have to live with that. And since that other uh, Lear jet is faced that way, I guess they're just telling them to put it where we tell you, not with what you see. Okay, that's cool. You know, no judgment. We'll bring it over. And she's functional. Ah, I stopped it too soon. Darn. All right. Well, nevertheless. So with all my bonuses, I got, you know, 937,000. The top 10 is like they are just omnipotent 1,800,000. Got some work to do. Let's do another landing challenge. And I know I know which would be good. So this time let's do um, the legendary 
No, it's not going to be in here. We're going to go back. And we're going to go into Epic. And we're going to do... Um, Saint Bart Bethlehem. Bethlehem? Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Beth yeah, Bethlehem. Or just Saint Bart. Fine. Whatever. Um, but I digress. So... I've had a couple of opportunities to practice this. But going back to the cantankerous key uh, assignments, what I would use to raise the view, which is, uh, if I remember correctly, I didn't even change that, also corresponds to restarting the glass cockpit. So I can't even raise my view without getting rid of my GPS. <laughs> So I got some key reassignments that I'm going to have to deal with, but uh, that's all right. <clears throat> we're just going to, we're not going to make this about complaining. This is about showing off what you can do if you have a 49 inch monitor. Okay, so like I would like it a tad higher, but I don't want to restart my thing, so we'll just live with that. Now is my landing gear. Gear down. Giving it flaps. All right, now the speed's dropping because the flaps are down. So they wanted about 89. So I can dig that. Now what is cool is that I have the GPS right there. And so I can kind of see that I'm aligned with the runway because it's hard to see here because it's hidden behind the hill it's hidden by the hill because the runway's behind it so this kind of helps me set up my uh, my final which is cool speeds just a little high we'll bring it back I mean you can't beat you can't beat the visuals you can beat the views. It's getting on my darn nerves. But anyway, uh, definitely if you wanted to say, well, what things can I do to really, you know, have an immersive, enjoyable experience? I would say, A, if you can, because I know it's, I got an affordable 49-inch uh, monitor, and it's been really good. I mean, it's not, you know, cheapo. Um, I got it for, it was on sale for $7.99. It's normally more than that, so I was actually very fortunate because the week after I bought it, the price shot up $100. But then it went back down again, so, you know, get it get it where you can. A good 49-inch monitor, I think, helps. Definitely uh, a flight yoke, affordable flight yoke, honeycomb. I'm not being sponsored by them, so, you know, I'm just saying my opinion. Um, and the tracker software, because this is a godsend, especially because their key... Custom keys are just so incredibly annoying to program. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm a little to the right. And there's a tree in the way, but we'll get around that. All right. We're looking good. Okay, we should touch down right on it. I think I overshot it. I definitely overshot it. You think I can stop in time? I do. This score is going to be terrible. I mean... <laughs> oh, I am embarrassed. I could do much better. But we're just going to go to another landing challenge. Just to have some fun. Okay. I'll probably edit this for, you know, Berivity. And, okay, I'm going to pull one that I have not done. I'm going to... I haven't done this one. So, this is going to be a first for all of us. And we're going to go into... Uh, woo! Alright, so this is what? Uh, Janko... I, I can't... Saba... I can't even pronounce it, and I apologize. So we're going to come in at 105 knots, and it's 115 feet above sea level. All right. We can do this. Maybe. 
105 knots and winds are oh good it's a headwind of eight knots 340 okay we're gonna stick this this is practically a perfect headwind practically we're gonna do this all right here we go uh where is it Oh, it's like way over there. They're starting us way out. That's fine. There we go. I can work this. Okay, where are the gear? Is it down? Gear down. First time. Haven't done this since I've had the game. And even when I did it in prepared, I didn't come in from this direction. I came in from the other runway. So this is our first all over the place. flaps <clears throat> fortunately that's dropping our speed a bit okay okay we're getting there let's take a look okay I see it I see the general strip okay now I see the runway the cloud was making that a little hard but I can I see it now okay all right let's go let's see let's do this I can honestly tell you at this particular moment I'm actually having fun which I have not really had too much of since I got this because I was just too busy trying to get things to work uh, but I'm enjoying this this is fun this is what I missed the missions um, now I'll be glad when they actually get liveries uh, not just the livery for your plane, but liveries for the other planes, so I could start, you know, doing some missions. And I do understand that they're giving, they're going to be providing support for a pilot's life, so I could continue it on here. And when the study level aircraft show up, then I will really start enjoying it. But I know this is great for those that like the general aviation, which uh, many have told me they don't really give a whole lot, you know, simmers out there, or who provide content don't give enough attention to. So I'm glad I'm able to. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's a little hot, but I think, I think, I think, yeah, 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 yeah! Stop! Woo! Talk about nerve-wracking <laughs> not great but I'll take it oh wow okay we'll do one more challenge let's see what we have to offer Okay, if I did the Airbus, then I need to use my flight stick. So let's bring that right here. Got it on the side. Again, my first time. I don't know how this is gonna go. But we're gonna do our best. So we come down the valley, 140 knots all the way. I 
I don't know how this is gonna go. We'll see. But you do see that the the 49 inch monitor really does help with the immersion factor. No bevels, so no missed views, no having to ignore. It's just all right there. And I really thought maybe I'm gonna miss a little bit of the screen because in, with 27 inches, I'm kind of like missing, you know, a little over, you know, um, 12 inches per se on either side or a little under 12 inches on either side. Uh, but I don't miss it. I don't miss it at all. This has actually been great. All right, so now I want this up a little and forward. Okay, that's good. Now, oop, sorry. I was using the yoke there, but I really should be using the flight stick. All right, so 160 knots, and I'm gonna be using my throttles rather than the auto throttle. I'm gonna do this with my hands. Okay. Flaps, flaps are full. Let's get that speed up a little. And there's a rainbow! Oh, rainbow! Look at the rainbow! Okay, I'm done. You knew I had to say it. I had to do it. Yeah. I don't know. How would you feel if you were a passenger and just saw the mountains all on the side of you? Although, I am feeling the whole Airbus experience with the flight stick with this panoramic view. And using the flight stick. This is the first time I'm using the uh, Airbus flight stick uh, in Flight Simulator uh, 2020. I've, I've used it, you know, in some of my videos on um, Prepared, but this is my first time using it here, and I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. And with this, it just now this is a complete. Oh wow, that's just not even cool. Tell me this was under Epic. I don't remember. All right, bringing our throttles down. Oh yeah, I am a beast. All right, level it out. Okay, I'm not a beast. I'm not a beast. <laughs> I'm not a beast. <laughs> Somewhere in there, I lost it. <laughs> oh, that landing! All right, we got to give that one more time. This is my first time doing it. You got to spot me one. You got to spot me one. Uh. <laughs> Three. <sighs> and deservedly so. I mean, like, okay, so what's the top ten? Oh, I... I just, I have no words. I have no words. 140. 140 the whole time. Got it. I haven't got the reversers to work yet, just so you know working on that I thought I had the right key uh, I use this button right here it didn't work all right so let's do this who said this would be a good spot for an airport I'm just curious they lied all right raise it a little okay a little further yeah that's what I want right mm, actually I want it higher yeah there okay bring it back up Get up to 140 because we don't want to lose any more altitude. There we go. Bring this back down. All right. Holding altitude, that's fine. Holding altitude. Yep. 
Yeah. <clears throat> um. Now that I have a great deal more respect for this flight, because clearly I didn't before. <laughs> Now, do they come around this and back around? Or do they come over that little hump? As I understood their approach, I think they came around it and then level, leveled out. But I don't know. All right, so what's my speed? Okay. All right. We're not gonna be that cocky like last time. Okay. Uh-uh. There we go. Get that wing up. Get that wing up. Get that wing up. That, um. But did you die? <laughs> but did you die? <laughs> okay. Clearly, I've got a lot of work to go on that one. Oh, humiliating. All right, so now you have an opportunity to see what the challenges are like utilizing a 49-inch monitor. I hope you enjoyed this little segment. Uh, you want to get one of these in your life. I think it'll make this much more immersive. Uh, if nothing else, make sure you get the head tracker. Um, Work has been crazy, so I will be trying to get you some content really soon. Uh, not sure what it'll be. I'd like to do a full mission, but it's just not where it, I want. <laughs> I wish I had my PMDG aircraft. I really do. Ah, you know what? I mean, since we're just stinking up the airways, let's just go ahead for Aspen while we're here. Let's just... Do you have a good feeling about this? Because I don't. <laughs> Alright, so we're coming in. We're looking for the mountain on our right. And then when we get close enough, we're going to sweep to our... I mean, to our, it's on our right. Then we're going to sweep to the left. And just as soon as you cross that lighted highway, we're going to turn to our right and there should be a runway there sure no problem we'll stick it how bad can it be very Uh, okay. Uh, let's bring this back. Who, 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 what happened? There we go. All right. And so, what do I want to do here? Which view? And raise that up a bit. A little more? Okay, we're good. gear is already down I see we have some lighting issues you see these city lights that are kind of like elevated in the air aha so uh, we haven't got rid of that problem I mean heck you still got that in uh, prepared that's okay We might be able to do this better. Look down a little. I'd rather move back. There we go. That'll work. All right, then we just follow this freeway.
All right. I can dig this. Okay, we'll ignore the floating lights, but other than that, looks good. Gently touch it down. I mean, I don't know if I'd call it gently, but eh, it is infinitely better than what we just did. So I'll take it. Is, are we listing? Like, are we like leaning to the right? Did I blow a tire? doesn't look like it from the outside but uh, if I didn't know better okay where's my marshal yeah yeah terrible so clearly I have a lot of work to do but there you have it an opportunity to see the flight simulator using the uh, 49 inch monitor and a couple of missions uh, I'm starting to enjoy it. I hate the views, but we're going to leave that alone. Appreciate you tuning in. I uh, look forward to bringing you some more stuff, and I look forward to seeing you in the virtual skies. <laughs>